A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I start in the name of Allah, uh, the Almighty, the Creator of heavens and earth, the Cherisher, the Sustainer. Uh, I, inv I invoke His peace and blessings uh, upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad. Uh, may the peace and blessings of the Almighty be upon him uh, and the member of his household, his uh, companions um, and their followers and all men and women that walked in the footsteps of the Prophet uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I speak inshallah ta'ala to you uh, today about happiness. Uh, this paradise of dreams uh, that is sought after by every man from philosophers and, and their pondering and abstraction uh, to ordinary people and their ingenuousness and simplicity, uh, from kings and their high mansions uh, uh, to the homeless and their shacks. Um, the most important question that brought endless confusion to every man's mind uh, and to every man's heart is this. Where can happiness be found? Uh, a great many search for happiness everywhere and returned empty-handed, just like seekers of pearls in barren deserts. People always try to find happiness and pleasures and desires in uh, uh, passions and whims, but would always uh, uh, be confronted with the inevitable truth that these paths might generate gratification, uh, a state of temporary satisfaction, if you will, uh, but never permanent happiness. Uh, and inshallah, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the issue of happiness and perhaps examine uh, uh, some of those conventional paths that people have uh, sought in order to try to find happiness but systematically failed. And perhaps, inshallah ta'ala, give a, a glimpse uh, um, of, 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 of a good advice a simple advice uh, uh, on where to find true happiness uh, and, and what is uh, the price uh, that is posted for it. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this an easy, easy job on us. Allahumma ameen. Can happiness be found in wealth and material pleasures? People always thought and still do uh, that happiness can be found in more money uh, and in more wealth. Uh, that one can and would be happy if he or she were able to have enough money so that they can buy whatever they want, whenever they want it. The mind-boggling question is that, why is it that the most depressed people in, on the planet are always the wealthiest? And subhanAllah, in more scientific terms, the least happy people are ones with the highest salaries and the largest wealth. That obviously is a mind-boggling question. Why is that the case? Uh, take this one for, uh, for a good example. On the list of the highest per capita GNP per country in the world, nine of the top 15 countries are also on the list of the top 15 countries in terms of suicide rates. SubhanAllah. And although a reasonable amount of wealth is obviously needed to give one the peace of mind uh, that is, is required to live a comfortable life, wealth was never the number one contributor to happiness. Uh, as a matter of fact, the more money you have, uh, the more responsibilities you carry. Another question, can happiness be found in power? And men throughout history struggled, uh, uh, fought and killed to attain power thinking that in their ability to control and supersede the lives of others, they can actually find happiness. And take, for instance, a, a, a very uh, uh, inspiring story uh, about Abu Muslim al-Khurasani. Uh, he was once gazing through the windows of his palace. Uh, he was sort of in a trance. And one of his aides asked him uh, about what he was thinking about. He said something that is very telling. He said, Ahlumu bil mulk. I dream of power. That is what consumed the mind of this, uh, of this naive man. He, subhanAllah, he built for the Abbasids the ruthless legacy with blood. And he ended up getting killed by the hands of Abu Ja'far al-Mansur, uh, uh, the very man he served so diligently for so many years. When Abu, when, when Abu Muslim himself was, was just 35 years of age, subhanAllah. And history of, is, is, is really filled with such people who lived their entire lives seeking power, uh, which was a force that really turned into a curse that gave them so many sleepless, sleepless nights and, and, and deep states of, of depression and fear. And as one of my teachers used to say, 
Most dictators are not necessarily driven by the lust for power, but subhanAllah, the fear of losing it. And as the Prophet ﷺ says in the hadith, آخر ما ينزع من قلوب الصالحين حب الرياسة. The last thing that is removed from the hearts of the most pious, you know, in, in their uh, advancement towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the last thing that is removed from their hearts is the lust for power. Another question we ask, uh, can happiness be found in children? And, and you know, after all, listen to what the Quran says, المال والبنون زينة الحياة الدنيا. Uh, children and wealth, or in, in the order of the ayah, wealth and children, uh, are basically part of the ornamentation or the embellishment of, of the life of this world. Uh, and, and obviously children bring satisfaction to our hearts and they bring content to our eyes. Everyone wants to start a family and to have children, right? But did they really bring happiness to their parents? SubhanAllah. As Shakespeare uh, said, uh, um, you know, in, in, in King Lear, you know, this, this extremely important uh, play that, uh, that Shakespeare wrote, what's sharper than a serpent's tooth is to have a thankless child. How often do you uh, uh, read about children that became the sole reason of their parents' suffering and misery? How often do you uh, hear ab about children abandoning uh, their parents? How often do you hear about children that are so unthankful for their parents? How often do you hear of children that have been the most important compelling force driving their parents to steal, to accept bribes, uh, and, and to do haram things? Uh, in order to sustain those children. And, and listen to the Qur'an. إِنَّ مِنْ أَزْوَاجِكُمْ وَأَوْلَادِكُمْ عَدُوٌ لَكُمْ فَاحْذَرُهُمْ Indeed, among your children and your spouses, there could be enemies to you. Enemies in the sense that they might actually sway you or swerve you from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, be careful and be wary. That's what the Qur'an says.